this is kind of thing you read or hear in your dream and you'll be like yeah I, I'm sure I am dreaming because if you talk about constitutional respect for rule of law and constitutionality I look at the man who is making these statements one begins to wonder like the Cosio are asking would he for instance a typical example if you are talking about working against schools and unconstitutional takeover of power 15th of December is just a days away would he for instance would the government of Tunubu for instance not interfere with the Supreme Court judgment and for instance allow the release of Namdekano if you are talking about ensuring that non-state actors that they don't take over power comrade like you clearly stated most of these speeches are shocking not because they are not expected or they are not what is expected from the leadership or from government but they are this shocking because people have <laughs> people are so surprised like i for one i was so taken aback when i when i read the statements it baffled me because you now begin to ask yourself on what basis are these statements being made what gives these leaders the temerity to say make these statements is it that the people that they are leading are all product of eye artificial intelligence that do not have their own senses but they are being propelled by one machine or the other hence they cannot react to very clear issues that collectively insults their sensibilities because whether we like it or yes good governance in what part of the world what is good governance and to what end are we talking about this good governance thing if there is any that we want to applaud for whatsoever reason ask yourself very 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 pertinent clear questions Today we are still talking about a country that has raised their thing. Whether you accept it or not, I do not believe there's anything called sub subsidy before long, before now, and ever will be. It was an arrangement from an oligarch um, set of people who have structured the, the system and have used it as a collecting point for the, from the country, siphoning wealth. From my own standpoint, I stand to be corrected. It's my personal opinion. In the midst of all of this, you came up with a policy or you came up with a statement that drew policies to say there's no more subsidy come 31st of June, of, June, of June 2023 and upon that strength the prices of uh, petroleum petrol, uh, petrol prices did not only skyrocket by 60% they skyrocketed over by 120% increment and months have run down the lines and nothing has happened to the minimum wage of the same set of people are you talking about crime? you're talking about um, 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 military takeovers from such a country? listen I keep telling people that I'm one person who put them on camera, I'm off camera, I tell the world, there are forces, there are forces, the, the, the scientists will say the Big Bang, the Christians will say the creation and all other religions have how the world emanated and powers run the world, both visible and invis invisible powers. Obviously, I tell people that if Nigeria is not under a spell of some powers beyond measure, this cannot be a country where intellectuals have been bettered on a daily basis listen all over the world in every climb of the world where governance is top-notch where people are making inventions at and at at a, at a level beyond human comprehension before now you find nigerians in these places and they are doing wonderfully well then when it comes back to nigeria you see the most misfits of people all positioned in our position of authorities and leadership listen they were at the COP 2023 when what happened in Namibia happened in Namibia. A president left Namibia. We were there when what happened in Nigeria. Over 120 people died. We still had our, our sessions running because why? Even whether we want to get suppose African African countries, it just seems to be at the back um, at the back burner. Where you can bring it to the world front at the back burner. Where we only come to the front is where people have to flaunt wealth. Words of persons who never have any businesses known to the Nigerian populace, who never have any companies that create wealth or create jobs or do anything, but they just make wealth because why? They've been in government at some point or one point or the other. Among us, wealth at that, at that. So when this kind of statement is coming from a president of such a country, a president talking about people making choices in elections and putting their persons, the persons, the, 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 the interest of their persons of their interests or their choices in, gov in office, it begins to make you bewildered and baffled. Where is this speech coming from? Is it that these people do not even read the speeches of the, uh, of the speech writers? Who help them write the speeches? They just come there on the moment you just sit down and you just make the speeches. It is very, very painful. Ask yourself, 
today by the by the past election that we just concluded elections the abuja the state of abuja has just become like every other state going forward the supreme court trying to make a, a clarities to this judgment it's an after it's an afterthought it's an overkill of what has already transpired so for me this is the kind of country we find ourselves completely being run as though it was a mafiazo thing where things are not properly put in place africa is where it is today because of bad leaders then the same bad leaders sit down they will not have any shame ask yourself the julius asan bill when it uh, honorable julius bill they talked about regulation of public officers their, their and their words for medical ter uh, tourism and possibly by the civil society organization adding educational tourism this is a bill that is not rocket science it is not magic it but it's a magic wand in political sphere because if every political office holder knows that for the tenor you're going to be in public office yourself and your words must use nigerian public hospitals nigerian public schools nigerian public facilities i can bet you like it, it's going to be like a rocket science they are going to be a, a, a turnaround in the, in the public sector overnight because why these people are the ones before long you do not hear people like us have allergy and stuff we know people have allergy and we have a president who had an ear problem and flew out of the country we have people who have headaches they fly out of this country and they are public officers being paid with public money taxpayers money taking care of the taxpayers money them and their words people have four kids they are in government their four kids are schooling outside this country how then do you want the nigerian uh, 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 universities and the Nigerian educational sex, uh, sector to, to thrive no way 